What is up you guys, welcome back. So in today's video, as you can probably tell by the title, we're going to be testing out another brand of makeup. Today we're going to be testing out Beauty Pie, which is a slightly different brand than I normally test out. I know a lot of you guys have asked me to review this brand before. So the idea behind it is that you pay a membership price every single month. It's not a subscription box, so you're not paying to get like a box of goodies every month. You're paying so you can get the membership, so you can actually buy the products at the lower price. So for example, I'll just take this foundation that as you can see I have used before. This is the great skin foundation and I'm 99.9% .9 sure this is supposed to be essentially the exact same product as a Giorgio Armani foundation. So if you weren't a member you'd pay like the 30, 35 pounds or whatever it is for this but if you are a member I think you can get this for around five pounds or something. So you get the actual product without all the fancy packaging just for way cheaper. Some of you may remember I did do a little testing video on them ages ago when they first launched. I tried out a few of their more basic products and I actually really really liked a lot of it. So I've been picking up a bunch of things over the past few months. I do actually have my own membership and yes, I do pay for it myself. This video is not sponsored in any way. I've pretty much got a full face. I've got highlighters, foundations, contouring palettes, eyeshadow palettes, pretty much everything you could possibly need. So let's get it on my face. And in order a ticket to the gun show. Okay, so first of all, I actually have a little bit of skincare to prep my skin. I think skincare is like a new thing that they've been doing recently. This, I believe, is actually a night cream. Yeah, it's the Jeju Overnight Moisture Super Infusion Creme de Nuit. And it's just got like a nice sort of pleasant smell to it. So it is a night cream, but I'm just going to chuck it on my face anyway. I'm not 100% sure what this product is meant to be if it was branded. Um, if I do know, then I will let you guys know as I go along. Yeah, that feels really nice. It's very rich. Because obviously, like I said, it is a night cream, so it is going to be a bit thicker. Yeah, that feels good. So next up, I have a primer. Now, I'm pretty sure this is essentially just a repackaged version of the Too Faced Hangover RX primer. It smells like coconut milk, and I'm pretty sure it has literally like identical ingredients to that. A lot of you guys have been saying I've been uploading too much and that I need to chill. I finally booked myself a holiday. So I'm going on holiday in like the second week of October. And this just kind of smells like the cocktails that I plan on drinking for that entire week while I'm away. Like at the moment, with that moisturiser and this primer, my skin just feels like hydrated and plump. Which it um, definitely wasn't feeling before. Next, I actually have two foundations to try out. Like I said at the beginning, I have already tried this one out before. It's the Great Skin Foundation and I love this so, so much. I don't tend to use it in videos that often because obviously it's not something you can get in like stores or anything at the moment. But what do we have here? So this is the Micro Mineral Serum Foundation. And then we have the Incredible Instant Retouching Foundation. And I have this one here in the shade Light 400. And this one is in light 400 and I'm pretty sure that one is in light 400 as well so I think let's just have a look at the consistencies oh it's got like this weird dropper to it oh that is very very liquidy okay and then I'm kind of feeling because this one has a dropper this one is going to be liquidy as well yeah that one's also very liquidy that one actually looks a bit darker in comparison to the incredible let's see how this color matches up yeah, so that's the colour that I use for the great skin and that suits me quite well. Um, maybe I'll add like a bit of that one to the centre of my face and this kind of everywhere else. But first of all, I need to wipe this off because this is getting everywhere. Too lazy to get up and actually wet my beauty blender at the sink, so got a spray bottle. Yep, I did that. Okay, so it says it's blurring, it's weightless and it's radiant. So, excuse me. So, the Incredible Instant Retouching Foundation says that it is blurring, weightless, and radiant. I will be the judge of that. So, I'm going to oh, take a couple of drops in the center of my face, and we'll see what the coverage is like. Oh, I don't know if I like that applicator. This is kind of freaking me out a little bit. I can't actually see what they mean when they say it's blurring, because it has kind of like diffused my imperfections a little bit. It's not like fully covered them up. I wouldn't say this is full coverage at all. But it's just kind of bouncing the light away from them so I don't really notice anything as much. It is just more of like, I don't know, it is covering up things. I don't know, it has got coverage, but it is really, really lightweight and it does just seem to like diffuse everything more than just cover it up. But I feel like this would be really good for like, 
a sort of everyday makeup look. If you don't like going completely natural um, and you still like doing a bit of a glam look but you don't want to wear something super heavy, then this could be really good. Okay, so next I'm going to take the Micro Mineral Foundation and I don't know if I'm a fan of these dropper things, you guys. Liquidy Foundation kind of terrifies me a bit. I feel like I have some sort of time limit that I need to work with it. Yeah, I definitely think I prefer that one. The other one is nice. I'll probably use it if I want like a really natural look. But yeah, I definitely think I prefer this one to the Incredibler one. This one seems to have a bit more oomph to it. The other one's lightweight but with not as much coverage whereas this one has like medium coverage but it feels kind of like moisturizing on my skin I don't know it's hard to explain next I have two concealers they are exactly the same product but we have two different shades one is in fair 100 one is in light 200 I think I'm probably gonna be going with this one this is the super luminous concealer and it looks like this it's got like a weird little spongy thing oh that's weird okay let's like just dot that under my eyes. Do you blend it in with a sponge or is that just there for like funsies? That actually has coverage. And I really didn't think it would. I was looking at it like, this is gonna be sheer. But that's got good coverage. That is also very, very lightweight. So at the moment, I don't really feel like I've got too much on my skin. I kind of feel like I've got a BB cream on my skin or something, but we've got quite a lot of coverage. Next, I'm gonna do some cream contouring using the Quick Color Contour Super Gel. I think I've, yeah, I have swatched this to test out the color. This one is in the shade 01, and it's like, it's just like a nice brown, as contour colors usually are. Ooh. Ooh, that's dark. It's weird though, it's like, it's a very thin consistency. Oh, I feel like actually, I should probably start blending that out now. I feel like that could dry. instant cheekbones. I actually quite like this little sponge guy as well. Nice. Okay, so far so good. Next, we have a ton of highlighters. You guys have no idea how excited I am to finally use these. I've swatched these so, so many times. Um, I mentioned these on my Instagram stories a while ago and a lot of you guys were like, how do I get them? So these are obviously like copies of the Cover FX Iconic London Drops. These are the Pro Glow Super Strobing Drops in the shade Illuminati. And I think these are like three pounds, max three pound fifty, they're definitely under four pounds. Um, you literally cannot buy these drops anywhere on the high street or drugstore for that kind of price. So, I mean, to be honest, if I was just starting out and if I hadn't joined Beauty Pie before, I would probably join them just so I could get these because they look so good, so, so nice. I cannot, oh, I just, I love it. And yeah, they're like four pounds or something, crazy cheap. I also have their Golden Well Triple Beauty Liquid Luminizer. Pretty sure this is supposed to be um, the RMS Living Luminizer or something. Um, let's just swatch that there. I think this is a bit more of like a natural glow. Yeah, it's kind of a bit more dewy, so I might just add that to like, various parts of my face. And then I also have one of their Multi Glow Sticks in Santorini. It's kind of like this sort of shade. I think they have a lighter one. Yeah, this one might actually be a bit too dark for me. Maybe we can use it as like, I don't know, blush topper or something. That would be so, so nice on darker skin. I think what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of that luminizer from the lid and pop some of it around like the high points of my face. I'm not gonna do it on the cheekbones because I wanna use the drops for that. I feel like maybe, oh, giving you the finger there. Sorry about that. I don't really see much of a difference if I'm being completely honest with you. Maybe it would be nice like without foundation if you just want like a bit of a dewy glow. I feel like this is more of like a dewy product as opposed to a highlighter. Because it's not really showing up. Like it is showing up on my skin if I do just kind of blend that on there. It's got like a nice little shine to it but it's not like a metallic shine or anything. So yeah I think this will probably be more of like a a natural makeup kind of thing. Not in love with that, but I'll give it a go for one of those like more natural makeup days. Don't really know how to use it to be fair, so if you guys have tried the RMS one, or if you've even tried this one, let me know how you use it. We all knew I was gonna end up putting these on my face. Let's not even try to deny it for a second. So what I'm gonna do is drop them on my cheekbones first. 
And let's see how these bad boys blend out. This is like the perfect color for me as well. Yeah, exactly the same. Oh, I just love it so much. This is giving me like full on wet skin vibes. Like you can't actually even see the product on my skin at all. It's just completely blended out. And to be honest, I don't actually think the Iconic or the Color Effect actually do that. They have more of like a, I don't know, more of like a pigment to them. But this is blending out. But it is leaving me with the best glow. Ding, ding. Next up is one of their powders. I have used this before, but I haven't used it in a really long time, so I don't really remember what it's like. This is their One Powder Wonder um, Perfecting Powder. And it's kind of like, I don't know, it's super fine and milled. It doesn't really look like anything when you swatch it. Um, let's give it another try because it has been a while. I think I really liked this when I first tried it. Caked up a little bit on my chin. Noted. Oh, that's brushed over my forehead really nicely and that actually kind of looks a bit airbrushed now. Like on the camera, I don't know if it's just me, but my forehead is like photoshopped. I feel like over the top of the illuminator, it doesn't look great, but on top of the foundation, like stunning. It's like completely filled in all of my pores on my forehead and like around the center of my face. But over the top of the illuminator, I'm not in love with it, but I do have like a powder highlighter to put over the top of that in a second. Next, I have the Moonlighting Balm. I feel like this is supposed to be like the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders or something. So I might try and dust that over the top. See if that kind of diffuses it. It's not gonna be a highlighter, but it's gonna be like a soft focus. I took it away. Where did it go? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I don't really know how to use this, so. Can't really comment. The next thing I have here is the Pro Glow Sculpting Face Palette. So this looks like this. Oh, I could have actually used that powder there. Maybe I'll try it under my eyes. So we have a prep and set powder. We have a bronze and contour powder. That looks nice. We have a luminize, I think that's a cream. Yeah. Cream. Let's have a swatch there. Oh, that's quite nice. Bit more like glittery than the other ones. Um, yeah, that's all right. And then we also have this Rosy Glow Blush. Ooh, that's quite intense. Just swatch that there for you. It's quite nice. So what I think I'm gonna do, oh, by the way, it has a mirror. Much appreciated. I'm gonna take that bronze and contour powder on my big iconic London brush and see what that can do. That's quite pigmented. It's quite dark, so I feel like if you had fair skin, it might be too dark for you. But if you're kind of like a medium skin tone, then it could be good. Yeah, I really like this. Again, same sort of thing as the cream one. It's like warm enough, but it's still cool toned enough so it does actually look like a shadow. So next I actually have two bronzers. This one is the Quantum Bronzer. And from swatching it, as you can probably see, there's like a gold film to the top, but once you kind of get past it, it just goes to like a matte bronzer. So don't be fooled by that, although that would make a really, really nice highlighter. So we've got that one. And then we also have the Sundust Powder Face and Body Bronzer. Looks like this, a bit more warm toned. There goes the plastic sheet. That one's a bit more orangey. Let's see. Ooh, that is very pigmented. Was not expecting that. Let's take a little bit of this guy. Yeah. I feel like maybe, let's try both. I think I'm gonna start off with the darker one. Very pigmented. Oh, that's not actually as intense as I thought it was gonna be, which is good. It is definitely more of a warm tone though. So again, if you are like a lot fairer than me, this might look kind of like orange on you. Just notice that that contour, like the cream contour hasn't blended out perfectly down my neck. So it probably needs like, a moisturizer or something to make it glide easier. Yeah, I like that bronzer. And then at the risk of looking completely orange, we're gonna put another one on our face. So this is the Quantum Bronzer in Ain't No Sunshine. Let's just go ever so slightly above. 
kind of think I prefer that one. Looks a little bit more like sunkissed bronze as opposed to bronzer bronze. You could probably actually get away with putting some of that over the center of your face to make it look like you caught the sun a little bit. I'm then just gonna take the same brush and take that rosy glow powder. That was literally one tap. And pop that on my cheeks. This is like that blusher shade. That's actually quite subtle as well, which I definitely prefer because when I look at that, I'm thinking, Jesus Christ, I'm feeling this so far. I actually really, really like this kit. I'm not sure on the cream highlighter. I would have loved it if they had like a powder highlighter or something because everything else is powders. So I'm a little bit confused by that, but everything else so far, big thumbs up. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that prep and set. And I'm just gonna put that under my eyes. I know we have already powdered my under eyes, but we can just have a little look. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, really, really like this palette. Next up, we'll move on to a product that again, I have used before, but I've only really used it once and that was in the last testing video. This is their Pro Glow Highlighter in Cosmic Shine. I believe this is supposed to be the same formula as Laura Geller. It's so intense, but I'm pretty sure this is quite a bit too dark for me. As you can see, it's more of like a rose gold color than anything else. When you blend it out, it does have a bit more of like a sheerness to it. But what I think I'm gonna do, as you can see, it's got like some lighter parts, some darker parts. I'm gonna try and take this lighter part right on the outer corner and apply that to the top. These are so, so intense. I just wish they'd come out with other colors. I think especially for darker skin tones, this is beautiful. You guys know that the Laura Geller highlighter is one of my absolute favorites, so I can definitely vouch for it. So yeah, Beauty Pie, if you can come out with like a slightly more champagne-y color, that would be fab. Okay, so I think that is pretty much the face done for the time being. Now I have, what is this even called? It's an eyeshadow palette. It's the, the 10 best dual eyeshadow palette, and it looks something like this. So what it looks like is, I think you've got one, maybe two mattes, this kind of looks, yeah, that is a matte. So you've got two matte shades, that one and this dark color here. The rest appear to be shimmers, maybe. Oh, that blue shade, like, by the way, hello pigment. That blue shade, yeah, it has a little bit of glitter running through it, but it, the powder itself is like mostly matte. So what I'm gonna do first is take this shade here and just pack that all over my lid to start off with. And then looking at it, I'm kind of wishing they had a, you know, like a brown contour shade. So maybe I'll take that powder from the palette, wherever the hell I put it, this guy here. Yeah, I'm gonna take that and just put that in the crease just as a transition because they don't really have a transition color in the palette. Maybe what we'll do is we'll take this purple shade to start off with, incredibly pigmented again, and I'm gonna pop that on the outer corner. Bit more sheer when you actually put it on your lid, but it blends out nicely. Let's see how it builds. And then I think I'm also gonna take that matte shade again and just pack that a little bit more on the inner corner. I do just kind of wish that color was a bit darker. I was expecting it to be more of like, you know, that, whereas it looks a little bit lighter on the lid. Still looks really nice though, and it does blend out so nicely, but the color's just not as vibrant as I was maybe expecting. I'm now thinking I might just take this little pencil brush and take that greeny shade. There is so much pigment in that. And we'll go on the lower lash line a bit with that. I think this one will be a bit more vibrant because I'm in love with this color. Yeah, I like that color. Again, not as like intensely pigmented as I was maybe expecting it to be when you actually put it on. This one does seem to layer up a bit better. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I'm not like blown away by it. I do really, really like this color though. Um, blends out nicely, buildable, not as pigmented like I said, maybe yeah, even this one like isn't as intense as I was expecting it to be. It's kind of more like a foil. But if that's the sort of thing you like, if you kind of want like more, I don't know, subtle but still bright colors, then yeah, I'd say this palette is definitely good, just not my favorite. So that is the eyeshadow on. Next we have mascara to try out. This is their Radical Lash Super Volumizing Mascara. That is the biggest one I have ever seen in my life. And let's see what this can do. That flares them out really nicely. That's the first thing I've noticed. The wand is a little bit tricky just because it is so massive. For lower lashes, it's definitely not as easy. 
And I think if you had very short lashes, you would struggle a bit with this mascara. That's nice though. I really like how it's flared them out. I often struggle with that with my lashes. They just kind of go in one direction. They don't like flare out nicely. So I don't know if it's the brush or what, but that's flared everything out really, really nicely. Yeah, I like that. I'm not like, oh my God, new favorite mascara. It's nice and especially for the price, like, again, I think these are like three or four quid or something. So cheaper than you probably find on the drugstore for a lot of mascaras. Um, yeah, nice mascara. And then I have this still guy. This is the Super Brow Pro Sculpting Powder. I don't normally like these sort of things, but I thought I'd give it a go anyway. Yeah, it's like this really weird, it kind of looks like a little caterpillar. And, okay, that is very, very pigmented. I kind of want to blow on this. Oh my God, these are so pigmented. God damn, this could be a disaster. Actually, that's not half bad. I will continue to use my pomades and things like that, but I think once I kind of brush through that, that'll actually look all right. Yeah, that's not bad actually. Very, very light hand and don't like full on paint it on, just kind of tap it in and blend and it actually does the job to be fair. So next we're gonna move on to lips. I have a few products here. This is their, what is this called? Can't find the name. Vegas Nude. I think this is like a lipstick thingy or something. It's just like a lip crayon. I'll just pop that there. It's kind of more, it's kind of more like a glossy nude lip. Looks quite nice, but I feel like we can one up that. So what I have here is one of their regular lipsticks. This one is in a very nice vampy shade. Thought it could be nice for fall. This is in the shade To The Beat and it's one of their matte lipsticks. I've tried a few of these before in like nude shades and they're so, so nice. I think they're supposed to be a dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. Stupidly, I don't actually have a lip liner from them. I have tried their lip liners before and they are very, very nice, but I don't have like a deep berry color from them. So I'm just gonna go in with the Rimmel Lasting Finish 1000 Kisses Lip Liner in Black Tulip and just line my lips with that and then i will just put on the to the beat lipstick Ooh, that is nice okay guys so this is the finished look and i'm actually really really happy with how it turned out i think the skin looks so good so glossy and i think the eye and lip work really well together i've said it before and i'll say it again i do honestly love the highlighter i think the formula is spot on it is such a nice color it is just a little bit too dark for me. I do have to kind of pick the lighter colors, but as you can see, it is so intense. This little palette here, although maybe not the most exciting thing in the world, I really, really like this. I like the powder, I like the bronzer, I like the blush. Again, the cream highlighter, I'm kind of like, eh, will I use it that much? Maybe not, but I don't know. It looks quite nice and glowy on the body, but for me, I like more of an intense highlighter. So I think if they maybe came out with this, but with like one of the powder highlighters in there or something, that could be really good. I really liked a lot of the base products. I like the primer, I like the foundations. Prefer this one, this is the micro mineral one. And I really, really love the concealer. Like this guy, this is good, don't sleep on it. As always you guys, do let me know what you think of this makeup look in the comment section down below and let me know if you're gonna be picking anything up. If you did enjoy this video, then also please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys and I will see you, you, in the next one. Bye.